the next topic, uh, as we hear a little bit, uh, Kerry, uh, can you share on this 56th birthday of Michael Jackson a memory that warms to your heart uh, on this day of his birthday? Can you share that with our listeners? Uh, yeah, one thing that you know, I'll never forget as long as I live, it was a Christmas. And uh, Michael told me, he gave me a list. I still have all the lists that he's hand wrote or he wrote out for me to go and get people. He says, Carrie, I got a very special friend and he does a lot of traveling. He's got, uh, he needs the best computer. I need you to go and get the best computer and uh, get everything with it. I want him to be able to do everything, run the office from this particular, uh, with, with the, the product that you, with this gift, this Christmas gift, and uh, get the best one. So I did that. I went and, went and got the best computer and um, the best printer and everything was, it was all inclusive. It fit in the little briefcase and everything. And he said, make sure you wrap it real good too. Put a beautiful wrapping on it and then, you know, we'll just give it to him on Christmas. Well, uh, it was coming up on Christmas and I lived actually an hour and a half, about two hours from, from where we, uh, where we were at the time. And he told me he wanted me to go home and be home with my family for Christmas. And he was going to be at, you know, Neverland and everything was going to be okay. He says, if I need you, I'll be, I can get back there in 45 minutes or so. Well, anyway, so we exchanged gifts. Actually, I didn't exchange gifts because I didn't, I got him cards and the kids' cards. But when, when I left, the kids came up to me with that box and that computer that he bought was from me and I'll never will forget that because he described me as you know a special friend of his so that gift that I purchased that I went out and got and Michael told me to get was to get was actually mine so I never will forget that as long as I live that really touched my heart and I still have that computer to this day I went over to the Middle East and did some security work and I carried it with me and and I'm looking at it right now I'm in Houston Texas and in, in my house and I had that computer, and I'll, I always will, you know. But it was the, the, what he said, and, and that's the kind of person he was. That, that's the whole thing about how he was so misrepresented in the latter part of his life that just breaks your heart, you know, how somebody could be so vilified and looked upon so bad at times when he was the most beautiful person in the world. You couldn't make him hurt anything. I remember Michael, he, right. he vowed we, we couldn't carry guns. We could not carry weapons, and that was some of the. He would ask me things about that, you know. Carrie, you ever killed anybody? You, you were a policeman for this long. You ever did? I said, Well, yeah, Mike, I, I did this and I did that. Like, uh, at times, I thought like this guy's gonna fire me. It's like, but it happened, you know. But I told him the necessity for it and the reason for it, and, and, and he kind of understood. But it was like he, he wasn't into those hurt, you know, guns and hurting people. He was into love. And, and spreading love and taking care of the underprivileged and the voiceless. And and he was an awesome person, man. And, and it's going to come out. It, it, it really is. Like I said, you saw what this world tried to do to him and, and the evil media. And I'm not saying all of them because some of them weren't. But um, he's an awesome, he, he was an awesome human being, you know, and his legacy will live forever. I gotta ask you guys: um, Were you a fan of uh, Michael Jackson music? I'll start with you, Kerry. Was I a fan of Michael Jackson's music? Oh, absolutely! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, I got. I, yeah, I, I love all of his music. You know, I, I really do. Uh, my wife's a fan. My daughter's a fan. <laughs> my grandson's a fan now. You know, but absolutely. You know, I grew up. Uh, I'm 53 years old, so. Michael Jackson was it, man, my whole life, and he still is, you know, but I loved all of his music. I loved the Jackson 5 music, and I loved the, the you know, when he went on and, and went solo. I, yeah, absolutely, I'm a fan. <laughs> 